All right, guys, welcome back. Thrasher's Ghetto Fab Garage. We're gonna keep working on a 32 here, and uh, we're switching over to uh, the inside structure. I started this a while ago, actually, when the car was still at my dad's, and I want to get this uh, finished up, or get, get it as, as rigid as I possibly can. Um, can I keep moving forward, making this thing a roller, and at some point, I'm gonna have to pop the body off the chassis here, and there's no way I could do it right now. It's just not uh, structurally sound yet. So, what I want to do here is, uh, you can see, I made these uh, these dimpled holes here and built all this. You can see, I had to build all that because there was nothing there. So I built all that. Um, this one still needs to be spot welded in, but it's close here. And I want to keep you know carry this uh, dimpled hole thing all the way along here. So I'm going to start on this side. The all the original window stuff is here. On the other side, I'm going to have to build some new stuff. So I wanted to get uh, get an idea over here first. So I bent up on my brake, this piece here, and with this, that'll fit in here, and I can spot weld that in, and then you, and as you can see, I can uh, continue that dimple hole along this route here. But I think what I want to do is I want to take this weird squareness out of here, and I think I'm going to uh, just cut this right here and make a new piece so it keeps that roundness of the window. And then just ties right in here and just keeps right on rolling right down. And I'm going to build something here, spot welds to the inner fender. So that, that should make it nice and strong and give it a nice look. I mean, the car's not going to have an interior in it. That's all it's going to have. It's just the, uh, the steel here, the dimple holes and the wood. So I want to make it look, uh, look finished in kind of an unfinished way, if that makes any, any sense at all. So I'm going to get the camera set up here. I'm going to get cutting on this back piece here. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I made this uh, quick piece here on my uh, shrinker and uh, actually just uh, went on the outside of the body actually and followed this body line. It's hard to see what's this one right here. I followed that on the outside of the body and I got it to fit there, which is the exact thing I needed to do here. And that's going to fit right there. And I'll get that tacked in with my MIG here now and we'll uh, keep rolling making this, uh, this lip here. I didn't film any of this tonight, but I did get this first piece of the uh, structure made here. I'll uh, get that on the second part of the video. Just started rolling tonight and didn't set the camera up. But uh, as you can see, this part here, I had to make with my shrinker and stretcher. Uh, flip it over here. And you can see the welds, how I had to do that in uh, about, was that, three three pieces? This piece here was a little challenging, just making that uh, a, lot of, a lot of stretching here on this piece to make that curve. Finally got it, shrinking here, and then uh, TIG welded it all together. So here's that piece, the first structure piece. And I'll uh, toss it here in the car, and uh, you guys can get a better idea how this is all going to fit together. So there's that piece I showed you on the bench there, and uh, here it is, sheet metal screwed in the car for now. And you'll see it'll tie in down there, and then uh, come up. This kind of replaces what the 
mimics what the wood did, not exactly. And then it'll uh, tie into the B pillar there. Should give it some good structure, I would believe. And then this will give me a place to spot weld on my, uh, my dimpled holes here, just to carry that theme up. Same thing I did up at the front here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, I'll get this, uh, keep rolling on this side and uh, keep posting these up. As you can see, I did a little bit of, maybe got some welding to do here. And I'll get that done first before I do it too much more than anything else. But uh, that piece is basically done. And then uh, I can start working on the uh, the dimple holes next. Yeah, it's just a quick shot of this side here. Uh, I got all the, uh, just finished the chop weld in there. I need a little bit to do some more in the back around the, uh, in the window where I tied that in. And then this still piece is just still uh, uh, the structure piece here. So just sheet metal screwed in there. It is ready for the uh, dimple piece. I got some two inch, uh, 16 gauge, two inch like band. I got that ordered and I'm gonna make a new, actually gonna make this piece new. I don't really, I'm gonna go a little wider on that and the bigger holes. Wasn't real happy how this one came out. I didn't like how this piece on, this is not very straight and I'm happy with it. So I'm just gonna use some flat 16 gauge uh, with no bend on the top. And uh, I think it would be more than strong enough and rigid enough being 16 gauge this was like 20 so um this was 16 here so i'm gonna go uh this is ready for the dimple holes over here and i won't i won't weld any of this stuff in until i uh get all, everything lined up screwed on and uh, mounted and then uh then i'll go ahead and weld everything in so that being said i'm gonna move over here and this one is the worst of the two windows and if you saw my earlier Kind of time lapse one of my first videos here you could see i had to build all of this here and you can see all the different pieces i had to weld in to make that some of my some of my made uh, a little bit of uh, united pacific sheet metal from a five window i think part of this was like here was part of the door i want to say um yeah and that's some of some united pacific stuff so anyway so that's all kind of made there and then you can see kind of, this is kind of rough right here. So this this car, this body was extremely rough. I really haven't covered too much of that in this video stuff because I'm working on doing the motor mounts and turbo stuff and all that kind of stuff. But this car was extremely rough. So you have all kinds of weird holes like this that need fixed and touched up. So I think what my plan is gonna, I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna break a piece to fit here, um, which is how that was from the factory. That's how it was on the uh, fastener side there. And uh, I'm just going to take that and I could split it and weld, weld the whole thing in. I don't really see the need to do that from just for a structure piece, especially something that's going to be behind the window. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this to right here. You can see here. I think I can save this. Just take the MIG real lightly and kind of put a, a copper backer back in here and just um, hit this one a couple times to fill these holes in. So I'm going to do that and then cut this off to here and replace this whole piece with a... Uh, uh, up to here first and uh, get that in there and get that to be kind of my starting point and then I'll come back and uh, you know, I'll just kind of build the rest of this around here just to get that whole thing built first before I build any kind of structure piece. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and I'll show you guys how I do that.
Okay, guys, you see on the uh, time lapse there, I got this uh, this back part of the uh, window here done. And I'm really happy how this came out. Come out really nice. And uh, there's something stuff here that I didn't quite finish when I did the chop. So it's nice to have that uh, checked off the list. But you can see how, the, the, how much stuff you have to change when you chop one, especially this hard. You gotta uh, move stuff in, you know, relief cut here, move stuff here. And uh, also this thing was so, uh, so rotted and the chop was so bad when I got it that uh, it needed a lot of work there. But really, really happy how that came out. You can see that wrapping around there. Then, you can see on the inside here, this was all you know, different pieces and whatever was going on there. So I uh, hadn't got that uh, all rounded up nice there. It looks really, really good, I think. And uh, next next phase of this is going to be to get this lip on there. Because so this is just like the other side, it's got to wrap all the way down to here, and that's where that uh, structure piece is going to attach on there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that working on that now, and uh, we'll get uh, that here up on the uh, time lapse also. All right, well I got the uh, the first step of this done. I got the uh, the lip. Well, um, weld it on there, do a little spot weld it, do that off camera. Uh, not really much to show there, just uh, drilled, drilled some holes in there and uh, ran a spot about, I don't know, a dozen or ten or so spot welds in there to hold that. And as you can see, I got a nice lip here to attach to. And uh, this is a big step to get this done. This was, uh, there literally was nothing here. It was completely rotted. This whole thing was junk basically from, from about here, here to there was garbage so all that's new and uh, that makes me very happy to see that in there so gonna keep just moving on this video here we're gonna uh, go on and uh, get the start getting these pieces in there I'm up and down and around and uh, we'll keep rolling here All right, guys, I didn't show us uh, much on the other side here, so I thought I'd show this piece before I uh, got it all welded in. So you can see how I kind of built this. And I bent this up on my brake. Just bent that, uh, these angles here, there and there. And then I went uh, and stretched this side while I was shrinking this side. And I got that curve to kind of match. Um, it's tacked on there now, as you can see. So I'm going to pull it off here and then scribe on the back side, cut the welds trim it to fit, and then I'll go ahead and I'll take weld it all back in. So I'm gonna do that off camera. You guys have seen me weld a million times. No, no sense of watching you guys you know, watch me do that. So I'll get that done, and then I'll post up the finished picture here. And uh, how do you call this, uh, this one part one of the infrastructure video. So I'm working on getting this uh, this piece welded together. You can see I got uh, most of the take welding done here. And I'm going to, as you can see, there's a little bit of gap right there. That uh, doesn't quite line up, and uh, the plan is here. I'm going to set this up and maybe just kind of show you how I would fix this. I don't know if it's how I'd really do it, but uh, my, my my plan is to use the edge of that bench there, where it's um, you know, a nice hard um, edge, and I'm going to uh, try to roll that gently you know, down so it matches the curved piece here, and we don't have to do any cuts or anything. Just uh, kind of slowly push it and hammer it together. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot and see how it uh, comes out.
All right, well that fits a lot better now. And you can you know, kind of see that uh, it's straight across here. We'll put a clamp on there. And um, looks pretty close here, a little wavy, but uh, I'll hammer that a bit more. And you really can't quite tell. It's got a, uh, you know, a little bit of a gradual change in it. You know, I'm sure it's just, uh, you know, it was off in the break a little bit when I made, you know, the three different pieces. So, come up pretty, uh, pretty good. And uh, I'm going to uh, get this welded up and ground smooth and uh, show you guys the finished product in place. Okay, so there's the finished product. And come out uh, pretty pretty good and I uh, got it all well welded ground smooth I cut this lip down to the same size all the way around and uh, here's where I had to uh, hammer that you know get that to line back up and that came up you know, pretty nice so I think that's uh, that's good we're gonna call that uh, that side done all right guys I think it's a good stopping point here for this uh, part one of the inner structure uh, I got some steel I'm picking up tomorrow some 16 gauge to uh, do those dimple holes so I'll get started on that uh, on the next video here. So we're gonna wrap up uh, part one of this. And just wanna say uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time at Thrasher's Ghetto Fab Garage.